Hey everybody, Seth Gonzalez. This is your Remington Report for week five of the college football season. We start south in Tuscaloosa as number one Alabama welcomes Ole Miss. Rebels haven't beaten the Tide since 2003. A win would be huge for them this weekend. Ole Miss coach Hugh Freeze and his players, they live for moments like these. Uh, you know, we're, we're excited about the, uh, the great challenge that we have. They are arguably the gold standard of, of football, you know, right now. And um, to, to take our young football team into that atmosphere is why you come play in this conference. That's why you want to coach in this conference. And we go a little north of the Windy City as Indiana visits unbeaten Northwestern. Wildcats looking to hit 5-0 and for the third time in five seasons. But coach Pat Fitzgerald knows it won't be easy to do against the Hoosiers. Well, I, I think you're going to see two football teams that... Uh, you know, we're playing at a, at a pretty high level right now. So as far as the points, I don't, I don't have a clue. I, I, you know, I'm a defensive guy, so a 2 nothing win would be great. But, you know, that very rarely happens. So I, I think it'll be too, uh, a hard-fought Big Ten game. And if you look at the record here over time in this series, uh, the games seem to go down to the wire, and they seem to be really close. So I think it'll be entertaining. We head west to Logan, UNLV and Utah State meeting for the 20th time in series history. Aggies on a four-game win streak at home, but head coach Gary Anderson sees a UNLV team that's gaining confidence. You know, UNLV's had a big, a big win over Air Force. So it's a conference victory for them. It was a great game. Went right down to the wire. Both teams fought extremely hard. Kind of high-scoring game. They've been in every game. You know, with, uh, right now Minnesota's undefeated at that game. Don't forget you can check us out on our blog, that's RimmingtonTrophyBlog.com and if you're interested in the 13th annual Remington Trophy presentation, you can find information on that and much more at www.RimmingtonTrophy.com.